What's up guys, it's me Drew, and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the Animal Crossing New Horizons Money Tree. So let's get started just by explaining basically what it is. So you might know this already, but pretty much it's a tree that grows bells just like this one. So if you shake it, it's going to pretty much just give you 10,000 bells for each of these bags. So in total it gives you 30,000 bells. That's only if you plant 10,000 though. So pretty much I have another one over here, I'll collect that one later. So the way you get a money tree is really easy. Oh, there's a thing right there. I'm probably going to get that before. But every day there's going to be a little thing that um, it's like a golden spot just like that. Just this sparkling spot in the ground. And what you do is you dig that up. I'm going to have to go get a shovel. The reason why I didn't have a shovel is because um, yesterday I went tarantula hunting, like where you create your own tarantula island. I left all my tools there. So let me know if you want a tutorial on that or if you already know how it works. But as you can see, you dig up 1,000 bells from these holes, and then it's a glowing hole. So it has to be a glowing hole. Um, like if you dug here, it's not a glowing hole, it's a regular hole. That won't work, right? So go over to this one, which has to be glowing hole. So I'm just gonna put away this 1,000 bells. You don't wanna do bury in hole. So put away, that's gonna put it into your bell counter. And then over here, select 10,000 bells. So make sure you have 10,000 bells on you. If you don't, obviously it's not gonna work. I wouldn't recommend planting less than 10,000 bells because that's the max you're going to get. But in case you maybe don't have that much, then you don't want to do it. But make sure you're holding your shovel first because if you do it without holding your shovel, it's not going to work. Then you just click on the bells and do bury and hole. So the bury and hole option is not going to show up if you aren't holding your shovel. Um, pick it up just like that. And then what I did is I created this little area where I can have all my money trees um, just in like a sort of place organized so I can kind of have like a money tree farm. So if we go down here, then you can see kind of where I did that. I just spaced them apart using those. I'm gonna try to make this look a bit nicer later, but just for now, this is how it looks. So I just made sure it was two spaces apart for each one. So as you can see, this one's still growing. This one over here is still growing. So it just grows exactly like a normal tree. They it, Obviously it's pink now because it's during this update, but as soon as the cherry blossom update is gone, it's not gonna look like this. But yeah, as you can see, I just got another 30,000. So once you collect the money from it, it turns into a normal tree and it's never going to grow money again, okay? So you're not going to be able to get any more money from it. So what I'd recommend doing is going over here, eating some fruit pretty much. And then you can just dig up this tree, just like that. Make sure you're holding out your shovel again, go to the nursery money tree, hit plant, and then that's just going to bury it in the hole right there. So that's how they look, just like a normal tree. So since I just dug up that one, it just becomes a hardwood tree after you dig it up. So there's nothing special about it now. You can just have that hardwood tree and do whatever you want with it. But like, let's say this one over here, you can't really tell that this one is um, a money tree. So if you dig it up after eating a fruit, then you go check. It says large young money tree. So uh, you'll see in the icon, it has the bells on it, even though it doesn't when you actually put it down. Now there's some other things you should know. So if you plant 1000 bells, into the hole, you're going to get back 3000 bells. So that's why I'd recommend not just planting the amount that they give you, because if you just bury that amount back in, you're only gonna get 3000 bells back. So uh, let's say you plant 5,000, you're gonna get 15,000 back. So that's 10,000 profit. The reason why you should do 10,000 is because you make 20,000 profit, but you might be thinking, well, why don't you just do like 99,000? Now you can do 99,000, but there's a problem. It's around a 50-50 chance that it's going to work. So, so what would happen is if you were to plant the 99,000 in the hole, then it could have a chance of just becoming a money tree as if you planted 10,000. You're spending 99,000, so you pretty much lose 69,000 bells, which is obviously a really bad thing. So it's about a 50-50 chance though. If you end up getting back, you'll end up getting back 297,000 bells, which is actually amazing but that won't happen every time. So if it is around 50-50, which is what I've kind of heard, that means you'll be able to spend 99,000. And then if you don't make it back, you lose 69,000. But if you spend another 99,000, you'll make back 198,000, which will obviously cover the 69,000 that you lost. If it's that odds, then it's probably worth doing. I just haven't done it yet because I didn't want to risk it. I haven't actually gone in Nook's Cranny yet, so I just want to do that. So one more thing that you should know is it takes, I think, around four days to grow. So it's not going to be growing overnight for you. You're going to have to keep more than two trees at a time if you want to get it every day. 
but that means you're going to be making 20,000 bells every single day, which is really, really good. So if you learned something about money trees that you didn't know before, be sure to like this video. Check out my 100 subscriber video, or if I haven't hit 100 subscribers yet, there's one where you can leave questions for a Q&A in it, and I'll probably answer your question. So click on that video, and that's the one that you're going to be able to ask the questions on, or if I already hit 100 subscribers, that is where the Q&A is going to be. And then click right there if you want to subscribe to my channel. So that is all for this video, guys. Bye.